Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. I'm just going to be making some black lace um, yeah, so embellished tags for a project that I'm doing. As you remember, I made this bag the other day and I've got the cover of a traveller's notebook to go inside of it. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm going to make some embellishments for the traveller's notebook. I put up these little tags yesterday onto Instagram and I thought, you know what, as I work on them, I just will turn my camera on and um, you can craft with me or join in or watch or whatever. So first of all, I'm going to show you how I got it to this state. So I use packaging card from anything. This was actually from a Twix box. Um, my husband eats the Twixes, so I get given all the cards. So what I do is I just cut a tag shape out. So I'm actually going to use this as a template at the moment. Right, now I usually use my paper cutter, but for speed, I'm going to use a scissors at the moment. Basically making the background look a little bit it's not the best yeah, way to do edge. this because if you want a guaranteed straight edge you are much better using your paper cutters but this is just to edge. show you how I get my tags to that state okay. right there. that's not too bad I mean that isn't perfect but what I might do actually is just turn that there in the background and so a there. see look this is just an old bit of packaging here as well that I've used yeah. that'll be okay so I've cut that out yep. okay and now I'm going to collage onto it so let me just check that I'm in frame sure. okay so I've got here like the other day just some bits of random paper some of it's a print that's a print out of one from Tsunami Rose a little advertisement I got some dictionary paper some music paper that's the inside of a music paper book um, okay. that's a print out from Artie Mays so all these bits and pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my PVA this is PVA watered down. I think I've done it one to two. So I've got one part glue and two parts um, water. Now, I apologize again for my dinky dinky brush, but again, I haven't got time to go digging out all what I need um, right this minute, because this was, was a last minute decision to just put the camera on. So I'm just gonna go from here. And what, what I do is I just paint the decoupage glue all over it and give it a good layer and then I start collaging. Um, I do have a quick read right, of what I'm ripping up because you never know what's on there and I've just placed this on randomly like that okay and then I'll paint over the top with the glue just like you're decoupaging. Now music paper and I don't worry about sticking okay. to the inside of the tag because you can cut that off I'm going to use black ink for this when your tag is dry I might just rip that little piece off there and I always seem to end up with little tiny weeny bits of things but again I don't throw them away because you just never know Stick that there when well, you're going to use them. So. Okay. Just Let's use a bit of um, this. I like these like, like leaves up here, so I'm just going to whip out a piece of that, and that can go there. So it's just random. So can you see where I've, made I've got a word here with duet. So I'm going to, like this, I'm just going to rip it up roughly and stick that down. Yeah, that can go here, up there, look. And then I'm going to rip around this printout from Artie Mays. It's just to get like a different sort of 
um, images, different scripts, and you can use whatever you've got. You don't have to go printing out or anything. It's just, it's all here close on hand. So as you can see, I've just gone over it. I'm just concentrating on covering all of this. Right, now we've got the dictionary paper. And I'm actually going to go over it again because it's still coming through a bit too much to how I want it to be. I'm still in my bedroom, well not my bedroom, my craft area I should say at the moment, so I'm still with this weird setup. Um, I'm hoping to have use of my dining room table to do my tutorials from now on. Um, it's just a case of me having to organise what I'm going to do for my tripod and, you know, just getting used to setting it up and when the kids aren't around. <laughs> right, just a moment. So dry that off again. Being careful not to dry the lace and make it all shrink back. And I'm going to put a little bit of vintage photo on that. So that's that's it. That's what I do. And then when that has dried, I'll cut around this side, put some vintage photo ink around the edge and just sew it around the edge. Okay, so that's what I will do, is I will dry this now. Right, so that's now dried. So I'm going to trim this around a moment. And put my, put that there. That's so I know that I'm not going to go offline. If you can see, it hasn't glued down quite well here, because this is quite thick paper. So I'll just get some, like, either a print stick or some tacky glue and just glue that down tight like that right so we'll cut this out see it hasn't glued down there either I've probably got the glue a bit too diluted Right, so let's snip this out. It's just very subtle. Okay, and then this one. But that's what you're left with. Okay, so I'm just going to sew around it and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've sewn around it in a zigzag stitch and now I'm just going to go and ink around the edges just so I've got a bit of a border so I can see where I'm at. I do love the mix of the black, the cream and all. I've these neutral colours and all, they just, oh, I just love it. Love it at the moment. <laughs> Nice change to all the nature I've been making. Okay, so we're nearly there, look, if I compare the both of them. All I need to do now with this one is put some gesso on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little pot of gesso. Film. If I can get that off without, oh, it's a bit sticky. And get my palette knife. So back in a sec. I'm to dig my palette knife out because I put it away after making these yesterday. So all I'm going to do is just dip it in, knock off a bit, and just roughly go along, across, wherever I want, wherever the mood takes me along this tag. And again, it's just to add a bit of texture. Now I can see that's lifting. So I shall put some glue under that again. I've got my lace and stuff here. And I'll just push it down with the palette knife. There you go. So this is just, oh, wrong pot. So this is just to, uh, wrong pot. <laughs> Make it a bit varied in where the gesso's gonna be. And then I'll dry that off with the gun, the heat tool as well. Now where they put the lids of gesso. I gotta clear up as I go, because otherwise I'll have a right mess here. And you know what it's like. We love our tiny little spaces as crafters, don't we? Stick that up there. So I'm just going to dry this. So what we're going to do now 
is we're going to build up some little clusters. So I've got little piles here of some music paper pile. There's some dictionary page pile and it's just little torn up pieces. I have got some square paper. Um, here I've got the rest of the Artie Mays printout that I've just ripped out. So it's got script on it basically. And then I've got a pile up here of doilies. All been ripped up. And up in the corner here, I've got a pile of some vellum that I've tea dyed. Okay, and then what I've also got is I've got some lace and some cheesecloth that's all been coffee dyed. There's some little rosettes there. This lace has actually gone, uh, been dyed with avocado, but it's very, very pale. So I've got some of that. And I've also grabbed the leftover bits and pieces that I had from my project the other day when I made the bag. These are all the little scraggly bits. So what I intend to do is I'm going to build up, sorry, I, I need to just clear all of this moment. Build up, oh, I, I did forget to say, I am sorry. I've got some images that I've pin printed off Pinterest. I've also got some from Artie Mays and I believe Tsunami Rose does them. And I've shrunk them down and all I've done is sewn around them. That one's been ripped around, sewn around and inked. That one's just been sewn around and so had that one. And the idea is these are going to be the focal images on the cards, on the tags. And we want to get to here, which is basically layering up some bits and pieces so that you've got like a collage underneath. And then that is going to sit on there like that okay so this is how we do it so if i pick up this one here i'm just going to trim a little bit closer into the stitching doesn't matter if you cut it because i want to have a bit of room around her so that i've got somewhere to put some little bits so i work backwards as i said the other day meaning i hold my image and then i get my piece of paper and then I layer from behind it's just the way that I find easiest to work and this is just going to be a case now of fiddling around with what I've got until I'm happy with where it sits and I'm going to ink up all the edges I'm just going to rip this one down a bit more and just ink up the edges And I think I'll just quickly put some ink around her as well. Just so it's not so grey and white. But it's got a bit of that sepia look to it. Let's bring this over here. Okay. So I've got this music paper upside down. And I'm going to keep referring to my tag. Just so I can see how it sits there. And it is a case of fiddling. Just fiddling around, seeing the best way it goes. And a bit of doily on that side. I might just stick that inside, actually. So that's poking up like that. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, some dictionary paper. I'm not thinking about it. I am just doing it. If I start thinking about it, I end up sitting there for ages and just getting nowhere. What I will say is it was actually Laurie from Girl on the Ridge that inspired me to do this because she makes her, her little clusters and she's got a video on how she does them. So I will include that in the link below. And I'm just going to add a little piece of vellum on this side. I think. Let's have a look. No. Maybe not. Uh, do you see what I mean? You've just got to fiddle around until you get where you're happy. Right, let's put that there. Yeah, that'll do. 
all right now what I'm going to do now so I don't lose what I've got is I'm going to put some glue just underneath in the middle and again not around the outside edge because I might decide to tuck a few things in or add a few bits so I'm just going to put a little bit of this glue and it also gives me a chance to move it remove it move move it around <laughs> a bit more as well in case I do change my mind because you never know and I do change my mind quite a lot so it's just sticking the edges. I am thinking it needs something here. So I might just actually change my mind. Um, I like that. Let's see if that's still going to fit all right. I need to squeeze it in a bit. Bring that up a bit. Yeah. I'm not worried about it going over the edges. Although I will bring that in a little bit. But it is fiddly. And it just takes a little bit of time. So that you get it where you want it to be. Bring this down a little bit. See, I've stuck it down, but it's just giving it a bit more security while I'm playing. No, I'm not happy with that there either. Okay, let's go back to this. And I'm going to bring that back out again. So, listen to yourself, Tina. Work backwards, because that's how you do yours. That's it. I really do want this, but I think it was better down the bottom. Nope, not happy with it. How many pieces have I got? One, two, three. I don't use too many bits because, do you know what? I'm going to try a different shape. That might be what's throwing me. Um, let's have a look. That's better. Okay, so I've just got a tiny bit there, but that just makes me feel it's more balanced. So I'm going to stick that in there. So just stick, stick that up. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do for that for a minute. So that's that one. And um, we'll do the same with this one. Um, this oh, I love the way this doily's come out. It's just lovely, absolutely lovely. Quite like that. So I'm gonna stick that quite close. Actually, I might use the whole whole piece. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right. I'll just put a little bit of um, ink around the edges. I know where it's going, so I'll just do this in a minute. Okay. Mm, I like that. Okay, um, a bit of music paper. That's peering out. Right, I'm going to just rip that bit off there. Give it a bit of a ink. Like that. And I'll turn that around so I want to see the music and I want to put that in behind. So you've got a bit coming through. I actually think that is a bit big, so how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm just going to rip like that. And then bring that in a bit closer. 
closer. What's happened to my music? Oh, he is there, look. He is there. Now, it is fiddly and it does take time. Just right, what else we got here? Some dictionary paper. I'll just ink that one. Let's see. I think we do need that little bit down there. Is going to be quite chock a block on here, and it. I got a bigger tag. Yeah. Swap again. So I'm really enjoying how this is going. She just needs a bit more room so that I can put all these bits in place. I'm going to change my mind there and get a smaller bit of music paper. That's better. That's what it needed. Yeah. Oh, don't drop it, team. Yeah. Okay, that's better. I'm just going to glue those in place a moment, just so I've got it securely a bit, you know, glued down, because I don't want to lose what I've got. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of vellum... I just want it. Let's have a look. I actually think this is too big for that tag. Right, I'm going to finish this because I'm going to do another one. But I'm just going to show you, you know, you've just got to play around and keep what you've got. Don't get rid of it because you think, oh no, that ain't going to work. I'll just keep this for another time. Right, I'm going to glue that there and I'm going to glue that piece of doily in there okay so it's too big for this tag it would be better on that one all right but I'll keep that for next time That's okay. That's okay. Let me see if I've got any other small pictures. Where have I put them? There we are. I've got, got a few more here. Let's have a look. I do like that picture. I haven't used it yet. Oh, there's this one. Does that look too big? Oh, there's this one. I can cut her down. I'll use that one. Right. I haven't sewn around her yet, but I'm just going to trim her down. Like this. Now, because the tag is a rectangle shape, I want to keep my image as a rectangle it just looks better so she's going to be quite let's cut quite a bit of this off yeah yeah 
yeah okay I will cut a little bit more of this end and you know I think I can cut a bit more of the bottom here it's not straight but I will straighten it up a bit more there we go Okay, I'm going to sew around this and I'll be back in a sec. Right, I've sewn around this, so I'm just going to put some ink around it. You won't see a lot of the ink, but it will make the edges that bit darker. That's it. Right, let's build this one up. Now, I had this from a minute ago, so I'm going to put that one on there. I didn't end up using that one, did I, for... The one I was working on. Um, let's put the else like that. Now we need a bit of a bit of dictionary paper, but I'm going to go down this way. I'm not being precise with me inking, I'm just whacking it on around the edges. Right. There probably is an easier way to do this, but this is just the way that I do it. I'm gonna glue that there now, actually. I've got it in my hand because I really want that little piece sticking up there. And I might have that one down there. Yeah. Okay. Music paper, bring you in. Just see it then poking out. And this is also keeping the back, you know, it's giving it a bit of um, stability in the back. Okay, I don't want that. I will get a piece of vellum a moment. I just want to keep this quite on a small scale because I want it to be able to look good on there. So yeah, I like that. So let's ink around that. I don't think I need the other end because you won't be able to see it. All right, so I'm gonna glue that down. Tiny bit of glue. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a different piece of, I don't even know if it actually needs it, you know. Let's have a look. It needs something. All right, have I got a small bit here? No, but I've got quite a big bit here, so I'll rip a small bit off. Like that. Right. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Let's stick you there. Oh, you're coming up a bit. Right, so we've got that one. That's going to go on there, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at the background. I think the background could do with fading out a little bit more and I need to put some more ink around the edges of this one. I can get under here and do it because I haven't glued the sides down yet. Let's get my um, finished photo back. It's better. Alright, this one. That's fine. This one needs a bit more ink. 
you don't have to put loads of ink on it's only because of the style that I'm making these I wanted them quite grungy vintage sorry I'm off cam offline right so I've just inked around that one okay let's get all of this out the way so we've got some space now what I want to do now is I'm going to glue these down on here but again just in the middle and I'm going to add some lace or um, bits and pieces and I'm actually going to glue the bits if you can see here I can glue in behind there and I can glue up under here but I'm still leaving the outside edge just in case I decide to put anything else in it but it's still going to make it that little bit more stable Yeah, that's fine there. And then I'm going to stick it down on the page. Okay. Again, just in the middle for now. Or onto the tag, I should say. Now I need to bring this down a bit because I need to put a hole in or some sort of, you know, taggy bits at the top. I'm not quite happy with that. Let's do it again. That's better. It wasn't quite straight. Okay. That's that one. Just secure this with a bit more glue. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some embellishment. I want to add a little bit of black here and there because I want these to, you know, match in with the, the book that I'm making, the journal. So if I get my little scissors, I'm just going to cut some leaves out and have a play, actually. Well, that's quite sweet. I don't want loads, I just want a few little bits and pieces just so, you know, it all matches in together because these are going in that journal. So I'm going to pick out, cut out some leaves and some flowers and things and I'll get back to you in a moment. Okay, so what I've done um, is I've taken my little bundle of scraps that I've had and I've actually cut out lots of little leaves and these little flower heads. This is, this is all from the same lace that I've been using and I've actually glued this one down. So I've what I initially did was held the picture of this lady in place and I just played around with some of the flowers and everything to create a frame. So I've made a start on this one. So if we continue and, you know, it is literally just a case. You know, I'll just put that light on as well of, you know, just playing around. And I've stuck this one down in the middle. I've left the outside edge and I've done the same with this one just in case I wanted to do something like, let's have a look. I don't know if I wanted to tuck a bit of something in like that because sometimes it's nice to have things just peeping out from behind okay which I actually quite like so we'll leave that there for a moment so I just pick up all my bit of leaves and things and it is a case of just placing them it's really hard to handle because it's so fine have a look placing them down I like that that 
actually. Um, let's see if I can put a little one on there. I'm going to glue that bit down though because I really like that. So I'm just going to glue this down. Let's get my glue. And this will just put this in place so I know where it is. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a tiny bit of gesso and just add little bits of gesso around the photo images like I did on the bag just to sort of, you know, blend it all in together a bit more. Right. Oh, this brush is a bit hard. Okay. So I'm just going to put some little bits here and there. And it is tiny bits. Blend that back out a bit again. I don't want to go mad, but I want to make it look a little bit, you know, sort of worn in. And I'm going to lighten up here a bit because I'm going to add some script stamp in a moment. Not all over, just in some places. So I won't bother, you know, putting too much on because we, we have added vintage photo. But if I do blend it out too much, I can go back over it again. There's a nice space up there. Okay. A little bit of gesso here. But it, it really is the little tiny details, I believe, in your work that can make all the difference. You don't need it to be heavy. It doesn't matter if it goes over the stitching. I'm going to put a bit around here. All right, that'll do for that one. Now let's do this one. Just... <sighs> okay. Just... Basically making the background look a little bit distressed. You know, whitewashed. I don't know what you want to call it, really. Okay. So I'll give that a dry. All right, just before I forget, I'm going to glue that leaf down that's, that's popping up. Okay. So let's find some stamps. I'm going to use black ink for this. I'm just going to find the right... Stamps. I've got um, this little one here which is like my go-to and has been since I bought it and I think this one is from Finnabar um, Art Basics might not be Art Basics but I know it is Finnabar so just again I want it to be like little bits of detail not overwhelming the piece at all. Actually, if I go... Okay, so can you see where I've made a mistake? I've actually gone over it. That's absolutely fine, because all you need to do is get a tiny bit of gesso. on my hand wait actually I'll dry it first so 
mean, you can leave that, but that's going to annoy me. So I'm just going to go over it like that with a bit of gesso. Okay, and dry it. dry it and I'm actually going to go over it again because it's still coming through a bit too much to how I want it to be I'm still in my bedroom well not my bedroom my craft area I should say at the moment so I'm still with this weird setup um, I'm hoping to have use of my dining room table to do my tutorials from now on um, it's just a case of me having to organize what I'm going to do for my tripod and you know just getting used to setting it up and when the kids aren't around <laughs> right and I'm going to put a little bit of vintage photo on that just a bit and go in with a script stamp again all right this time I'll do it that way much better I think what I will do is just put a little bit along here, like that. That's that one done. Now this one, put a bit more there. That's it. down to this bottom corner now that was the bottom corner on this I will put a little bit there it's just very subtle okay and then this one Just bring it over here a bit. I don't want it to look like it's just... I want it to look like it's carrying on off the page, if you see what I mean. There. And that way. And that way. Out there. Yep, I'm loving that. And I'll just give it a little dry off quickly so that nothing smudges. I know I've already gone round this once or twice even with the vintage photo, but because I've put some more gesso on, I'm just going to go around the edge again for the last time. And then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do for the top. Okay, so if I get out here, I've got my lace and stuff here, and I've got several schools of thought. Um, what I might do is, no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, sorry, I'm just going <laughs> to waffle again. I'm going to decide whether to tie on some lace or whether to have it stapled on. So if I just look in my little box here, I'm looking for a very fine, here it is, lace that I've got. I don't think I've got any off cuts of it. No, I mean, see, that is quite thick. Although it, it okay, does. What I've really... decided to do is go with this lace. So, just to recap, I've punched some holes in and I've put some um, eyelets in. That's the tag. And I'm going to put this in. But before I do, I've decided that on the back, I've actually gone around and inked around in vintage photo and I've got some bits of paper that I have just roughly ripped up that I'm going to glue on. That one needs to be a bit smaller. 
because I want to see the stitching, but I don't want to see. Let's have a look. I don't want to see all of this white space here. And I could have inked it up, but just for a bit of added interest, I thought I'll add some paper. So I'll just glue that down. Am I filming? I am indeed. We're winning. Oh look, I've actually inked it on the other side. <laughs> okay, let's just give that a bit of a going over. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And a bit of glue. Just a bit of glue. And glue that down. Like that. And then I've got a piece for this one. That's fine. Sorry, I'm still getting used to, you know, actually staying in frame when I'm doing this because you're moving all over the place. Let's put that one down. And I'm leaving the hole at the top there free so that it'll be easy to thread the lace through. And last but not least, I've got this piece. I am actually going to just... Take a tiny bit off this down the side because I do think it's a bit thick there, like that. Lovely. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Like I said, it's this is all part of vintage shabby, as I like to call it. And then we'll put some glue on there. secure a bit of glue here just so those edges are down lovely and now it's time to add the lace so I'm going to go in this one first yeah I really like that I just think that just finishes it off uh, which way are we going? Uh, go that way. Sorry about the laughter outside. It's good to hear people laugh though, isn't it? Okay, so that's that one. There we go. Lovely. And I'm just going to give that a little snip of an angle as well. Did I do that the same side? No, that's fine. So there we go. So there we go. We have three tags done with the bits of black lace. Now you could add some bits on the bottom, you know, some lace, which actually might look quite nice. Just to have a little bit there. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. But instead of sewing it I'm going to glue that on I think that looks really pretty and it just finishes it off so I'll do that and that was not planned so let's just go along this wobbly little line like this glue that down about there And then I'm just going to catch it where it's darker, in little darker bits, like that, because I don't want to see the glue popping through. Okay, snip that to even it up on the sides. I bet you thought that I was going to let you go then, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I like that. So let's um, keep in theme. I just think that just finishes it off really beautiful. I'll stick that one down. OK. 
Okay. There we go. So, how are we looking? Well, there we go, folks. That is the three tags done. I'm really pleased with them. And I think you'll agree that they will go well with the journal that's going to be in this bag. Lots of um, black and white in your face there. And we didn't go over the top, but I really think that they, you know, it worked well. So once again, thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope that you get inspired by it. And uh, I've got one, I'm going to be making a coin envelope soon, um, as I showed some of my coin envelopes that I made recently. And I've had people asking for a tutorial and um, Andrea from Artie Mays was going to do the tutorial, but she's got a lot on at the moment and she's doing a Junk in the Trunk series. So she's asked me if I would mind doing it instead. So no, I'm delighted. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea, for asking me. So that will be my next tutorial. And um, hopefully by then, if not before, I'll have some other things to show you that I've made. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Bless you all and take care. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.